Nope, this is not a joke. We're actually going to cover DDS1 today. If you're a fan of goofy simulation games, this actually is one of the more fun ones out there. So we're going to cover all the achievements, review the game, and at the end I'll give you a recommendation if you should complete this game or not. While DDS only has 36 achievements, there are a few of them which are complete BS and take forever to complete. We're dividing them into three categories. Easy, medium, and hard. Easy are story missions and achievements you'll achieve automatically. Medium achievements are not really difficult, but they need some effort to obtain. And hard will take the most focus and time to beat. As always, I'll have timestamps available, and if you could subscribe to the channel, it will help me immensely towards YouTube monetization. Let's get into it. So in the easy category, we will find all of the story missions. A whole new world, reach endgame, you make a better rat than human, keep it clean, hello Neo, the offer you can't refuse, Mr. Worldwide, well hello Mr. Millionaire, and yeah Mr. White. I won't cover these achievements because if you complete the story, these are the achievements you will unlock. The rest of the easy achievements are pocket money, earn 10,000 bucks, easy peasy. Just play the game. Small steps. Get your first dealer. Happens automatically. The sound of the beast. Get caught by the police. Hey, you can't delay the inevitable. Eventually, the police is gonna get you. The customer is always right. Get a client addicted. Happens automatically. Sell one kilogram of drugs. Self-explanatory. Just sell a kilogram of drugs. A kilogram is a thousand gram. Catch me if you can. Successfully flee the police. First blood. Have a client overdose. Now we're talking. Just like pocket money, it'll happen eventually. Easy achievements out of the way. Time for the medium ones. You know what capitalism is? You gotta max out the laundry business. The laundry business has 15 levels. Nice. Reach level 69. Nice. Get a life. Reach level 100. This is the highest level that the achievements care about. Monster kill. Have six clients overdose. This just happens automatically. Remnants of the past. Sell drugs at 2137. Exactly. Time continues during the drug selling part of the game. So you need to time this exactly correct. You might want to save the game around 9 p.m. or 2100. This way you can keep trying for this achievement. The Frodo we deserve. There is a golden ring hidden in sector C. I'm gonna show you how to get it. After finding the mysterious ring, go to the beginning apartment and flush it down the drain. Cool story, bro. In Sector A, there is an apartment where some weird Polish path of story is being told. Just stay AFK there and the achievement will pop by itself. You were the chosen one! You gotta lose a long time client. Now, I'm not sure what defines a long term client, but you have to sell terrible product for the achievement to pop. Just keep adding 99% salt to the order. Hit the road trap. You got to have drugs in your back pocket. Go to a gate search and you will get the achievement. Gosh darn eels. Turn off the power once. I will show you where you can get a fuse box key and where to use them. Bigger, better, stronger. Since you have all of the hideouts, you should just build a production lab of each kind in your hideouts. They grow up so fast. This kind of happens automatically. It just takes a little while. After a while, your dealer will get level 10 and the achievement will pop. Hard. So, so far it hasn't been really that bad. Sure, reaching level 100 will take you a while, but nothing really stands out of being too difficult. Well, that's about to change. 
My name is Jeff. Earn a million buckaroos. Just like now we're talking, this will just take a buttload of time. Just keep grinding. Homeowner. Build a villa. This is not really difficult, but it takes a lot of money in order to build a villa. Sky is the limit. Build all three villas. Again, not that difficult. It just takes a lot of money. Only ninja can stop ninja. You got to escape a DEA raid. What are DEA raids? When your exposure is too high, there's a chance of one of your hideouts being raided by the DEA. The best way to do this is run away from the police when you get searched and go into a safe place. Keep doing this non-stop until your exposure is very, very high. Go into a hideout that can be raided by the DEA. Every hideout with a save can be raided by the DEA, except for your starting place and the villas. If you do not escape the DEA raid, you will get a game over and have to return to your last save file. Heavyweight Champion. Sell one ton of product. One ton of product equals to a million gram. Try to calculate how much you sell every time you go out to distribute. Trust me, this one is gonna take forever. Going full Pablo. You got to have 107 clients overdose. In order to make clients overdose, you need to make them addicted to your product. And you need to make sure that your product is toxic. The best way to make your product toxic is to add fentanyl to it. You just need to make sure you don't add too much fentanyl in there so your clients will leave you instead of dying. I know, sounds morbid, I can't help it. Speaking about that, the last achievement is Jonestown. You need to have 909 clients overdose. This is by far the most brutal achievement out there. This one, together with going full Pablo and heavyweight champion, are by far the most brutal achievements in this game. These three achievements will easily add many hours to your gameplay before you're able to finish and 100% complete DDS. There is an alternative in case you don't want to spend a thousand hours to achieve these brutal achievements. Don't tell anyone I told you this, but there are DDS mods on nexusmods.com which can speed up the process of these achievements by a little. It is up to you whether you want to go this route or if you believe this goes against the spirit of completing a game. I'm not gonna judge, it's all up to you. That's all the achievements that's in the game. So what do I really think about this game? I've spent a lot of hours in this game. And for a lot of those hours, I've been really enjoying it. The game absolutely has banger music. It's super goofy and still very fun to play through. Graphically, it's not amazing, even for a simple simulation game, and it also has a few breaking bugs. Sometimes your UI completely disappears, and some dealers just get stuck altogether. You can't interact with them anymore. However, if you're a fan of big grinds, completing this game might be up your alley. Else, it might be better to just stay away from completing this. I can definitely recommend playing through the story if you like these types of simulation games. And even better, there's a second DDS coming soon and it even gets a spin-off version with Narcos. So today might just be the best day to start picking up this franchise. However, completing it might just be a bridge too far. I'll give this game the rating, play through it.